I live in a place called Las Cruces, New Mexico. A lot of you probably never heard of it. If you're out there listening for the first time. <laughs> and uh, there's a university here called New Mexico State University. And when I talk to people a lot, that's, that's, the, mo- that's the question I get asked the most. So what do you teach? You know, you do work at New Mexico State and are you a professor? You're really intelligent. Are you a professor? My response is no, I dropped out of Arizona State University because it was genocidal. And I was hoping that they would change it and correct it. You know, I didn't know I was going to be the one to have to do it, but you know, it's always been that way with me and Jesus. <laughs> it's like, Earl, what? Well, he tells me that, you know, he's like, um, you know, you have to do this. You know, and he, we talked about that this morning when I was mowing the lawn and stuff about people, you know, where is your deity? when children are being raped to death in brothels all across the world. Where's your deity? Why doesn't your deity answer? Why doesn't your deity save these people from being raped to death? Why doesn't your deity save people from the gas chamber at Auschwitz? Why didn't your deity stop Tularosa, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki? You know, your God. Jesus Christ the Lord said, forgive debt and trespass, love one another, eternal faithful peace. Jesus Christ your Lord didn't say, pray to a deity to save you from people that are unwilling to live the commands of the Lord, did he? Right? You understand? So, you got to understand that, you know, me and Jesus, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Okay? You people that have turned him into your make-believe deity are literally being trained and conditioned to accept your alter ego as Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Me and Jesus, he talks to me because I listen to him. Because when he tells me what to do, I obey because it's the right thing to do. All right. Now, I was in there while Dad was watching TV and on the Pac-12 channel, and they talk about how they create Olympians, right? And that, you know, you get Muhammad in my head. That there's a surah. In the Holy Quran, a passage called the Surah of the Greeks. All right. And in the Surah of the Greeks, what Muhammad essentially says, I'll, I'll kind of like make it uh, more uh, in a synopsis and more modern day understanding for folks, is that basically the Greeks are all these, the, the Romans and the people that have taken the Roman Catholic Church and told Jesus into Roman, okay, take what they think is the greatness of the Greeks, and they take the glory of God and try to turn it into philos, which is self. Okay, philosophy and physics. Okay. And they take physica, you know, it's Greek, and they take the perceptions of the Greeks' philos of self and then try to project infinite glory as, as, as an extension of self, which is wrong. And so you get these Olympians that will train and train and train for lots of money and a gold rock around their neck instead of stand up for the beauty and the glory, okay, of the Lord's Prayer, like Muhammad did. And then it's kind of funny. He was explaining this when I was making dinner for Dad. He goes, Earl, did you ever think, you know, that time you did that uh, backflip thing over the couch when, when, when Virginia threw the, Virginia Cummins threw the knife at your leg? That that may be a move that someone like Michaela Maroney or Bart Connor tried to do their whole life but can't do. And you did it on reflex because you're a beautiful person that saves children from genocide. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I would always watch them in kind of like envy saying, wow, I wish I could do those spectacular flips and stuff like that. And then when push came to shove, I could do really amazing things. But I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'd try to work at it and I couldn't do it. And then when it called for it, I could do it, right? And, you know, that, that must really, you know, grind their gears. That this guy who doesn't get up every morning at 5 o'clock and has some psychopath, stretch, bend, stretch, flip, 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 right? And then this guy can just do it naturally. And then when I get older, I don't have to. Well, I'm so experienced, so intelligent, and so wise. It's like, why the fuck are you putting yourself in a position to do that? And now that I can um, command technology and use technology to protect myself from other people with technology and then protect people from other people with technology, you know, that's, you know, it's, Moses is really cool. 
you know. And I knew they thought that at first in Sierra Vista when I was back there. It's, you know, these guys in his 40s like Muhammad was when he was revealed to the world as Messiah. You know, what, what's going to happen, you know, when he gets the horns out of his head like Moses when he gets older? <laughs> How amazing is this guy going to be? I don't think it's really amazing. I think it's just the more, the older I get, okay, and the more insistent I am on being uh, on us being humble and living the perfection of Proverbs, Psalms and Proverbs and the Lord's Prayer. Oh, uh, the more it's just like, seriously, <laughs> they're still fucking talking. Oh, my gosh, it's so retarded. Okay. And then when you watch those commercials with those narcissistic things, with the ones about the with the thing with the kid, you know, you, when you use a young person who has uh, has a developmental disability because of a toxic environment, such as Down syndrome, when you lose them for advertising to perpetuate economic manipulation and abuse, and how sinful is that? That's that's horrible. I mean, that's taking the naivete of a child and turning it into a profit for prostitution and drug dealing and genocide operations. You um, ungentlemanly warfare. Sorry, ass motherfuckers. All warfare is ungentlemanly. I'm a gentle man. Okay? All warfare is ungentlemanly. You're not a gentleman if you go to war. If I have to stop you from going to war, take a rock, hit you in the head with it, and use your own sword to cut your head off with it. Still a gentle man. Orale. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's let this thing load up for another hour there, because we're in a uh, hillbilly butt fuck, uh, fuck you central. Okay, love you too.